Hello everyone and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Today I'm going to cover the devices feature in PHP IPAM. This builds on my previous video about circuits. Please note there are many ways to use the devices feature. And what I am trying to show is your options for using this feature. This is not a definitive how-to. So let's begin. Please note that devices is not something that you enable as a feature. It is actually on by default. So let's begin with devices as you can see we can go to devices under here as you also can see i created a few which was from another video what i'm going to do here though is explain this type so i'm going to go to manage device types and in here this allows me to create new more descriptive uh, device types. So you can see I have a Cisco router 4331 here. Well, how do you do that? I'm going to go to add device type and I'm going to create, let's say, a Cisco 9, 9200 series and I'm going to give that a description as a 9200 series switch. And I'm going to hit add. And down here as you can see, um, this new switch is available. Now, what, what does that mean exactly? Well, if I look at my pre-existing, I have created this headquarters router. I gave it an IP address, so let's see what that means. So in here, this is its public IP address, the device type. See, I could have just used the default router, but I went for a more descriptive one, and I placed it in a, my HQ location, and I tagged it to my company. So, what does all this mean? Well, let's see what we can do with this basic information for a device and how we can use this in practice. So, to do this, I want to go and I want to get to my subnet that I have and I, I already have set up for an example. And that subnet is over here under Office 3 and we're going to take down some information about the firewall VLAN specifically that information and then the router VLAN and that would be this information. So now that we have those two items and we know that this VLAN exists and this office location exists and I can validate that by going to locations right I should have an office 3 here so let's go back to devices and I'm going to add a device. I'm going to call that Office 3 Firewall. And I'm going to give that an IP address. And I'm going to give it a, a device type for that firewall of a Cisco 1010 that I had already created. I'm going to give it a location as Office 3. And then I'm going to tag it to the company. And I'm going to hit add. Now I'm going to create a router as well. So that's Office 3 router. And I'm going to give that a public IP address as well. And I'm going to say that is a 4331. I want to say it's in that office. And I want to tag it to this my company. And hit add. So now that these devices have been tagged to an office, right, uh, from the location information, 
we can now add it to our internal subnets. So if I go to Office 3, right, and I go to the firewall, I can go down here to the visual subnet display, and we'll say for here, right, IP address 2, right, we want to do something here, right? We can say Office 3 firewall, because I'm in the firewall VLAN. I can give it a host name of Office firewall. I don't have a good description other than um, it's not a gateway. I do know who it's my company, right? The owner or IP address of the owner. This is a newer feature, so we won't go into that. And then I'll tag it also to Office 3. Now we have a, a lot of information here. Uh, we don't want to select unique host name and we hit add. And as you can see, this has all been defined now. And if I go to the router VLAN over here, right? And I can go to, let's say, IP address of dot 34 and we'll select our defined device, Office 3 router, um, Obviously, we'll give it and it's my company. This is not a gateway, uh, and we'll tag it to this office. And as you can see, this is now populated. And now that we've added the router and the firewall, if we click on the top right on this wrench, right, and what we want to do is we should be able to see two new devices by going into, or sorry, we go down to the location and we go to Office 3. You should see that these two devices have now been added to Office 3's um, asset list, we'll say. And it has information about addresses, right? There's a firewall address for the firewall because we're looking at it via the device. If we go to the Office 3 router, we'll see that its address and subnet has also been defined here. So you're building a good method of keeping your devices so that you have as much information. Now, to build on that and a previous video of circuits, what we can actually do is we can now say, let's say we have a circuit ID of for this will be for Office 3. Uh, I will call it Zio as the provider. Uh, we'll select Zio 1 gig fiber. Um, we'll have it as active. The customer is my company. Point A is Office 3 router. Notice that. And then the point B would be the or sorry, we'll make that the router, and we'll make the point B as the HQ router. And I think we can put in a date. I think I have that. Yes, I do. And so now, by doing it this way, we have a physical circuit, right? And if we go to logical circuits, Right, we're going to see we have these, so we need to go back and add a logical circuit. Did we create Zio? There it is, Office 3 router, so we'll add that. And now you see that we have the actual routers themselves. Oh, did I not do that right? Uh, that was my bad. I'm supposed to add it over here. So we'll add that. 
and we'll go there. And now with this logical circuit, we should see this is now connected from Office 3. Office 3 has these devices. And we can see that these devices have specific IP addresses, right? And we're building a list that's easily where we can get all of our information. And if we wanted to go through our location, obviously we can go back here and we can start seeing a, a built out list of what subnets we have what IP addresses we have, and obviously what devices we have. Well, thank you for watching my video on PHP IPAM devices. As always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover regarding this. Thank you. Have a great day.